Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. Today I've got another really special engine. This is an engine I picked up from uh, a good friend modeler that lives just south of me in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, it is the ME Snipe RC version and it's a 1.49 cubic inch diesel. And this is kind of an interesting thing if you look at this where it comes from, the Isle of Man. Now this is a, a manufacturer I've never heard of before because this engine really dates back a long way. In fact, the review on the model engine test site has a review for this particular engine dating back to the date, the year of my birth, which was 1966. Kind of a flimsy little worn out box, but it comes with a nice little instruction manual. And if I zoom out just a hair, it talks about all kinds of stuff. And it, and it uh, here again, it's a uh, Maglin Engineering Limited Peel Isle of Man, which is kind of an interesting place. But I've read several reviews on this. They also made a little uh, control line version of this called the Heron. But here's the engine itself. Now, I have to admit this, when I got it the other day, it didn't have the fuel tank attached to it. I did put that fuel tank on because I was just kind of checking it out. But this thing, this is simply just the rod to, turn, to tighten the spinner screw on. And then it comes with this old piece of tubing, which I have no intention of ever using. And then the needle valve. But this will be the second time, well, the second time... I've owned a diesel engine. Be about the third time I've tried to run one. From what I've read, oh man, this thing just stiff. You can't even hardly turn this thing over. It's because of the construction that this thing is just so tight. And it takes a really long time to run these things in and develop full power. Now, uh, this is probably an intermediary version of the snipe RC version because the act the one that I was reading about actually came with two little uh, muffler things that you just kind of snap on here they slide on somehow this one is one that did not come with that which is kind of unfortunate because I thought those little exhausts look pretty cool but apparently this thing can run for you know I don't know quite some time on just this little fuel tank here and I wanted to put this fuel tank on because I was I haven't done it yet I was put I want to put some fuel line on here and kind of test the seal because there was no rubber gasket or anything like that that seals it it's just this screw that screws into the center of the a boss in the back plate there and maybe it's just a leaky little thing I don't know but I put that on I really don't want to take it off now because I was kind of afraid of the integrity of those threads but I do, do need to do a, a leak test. And as you can see, this is the RC version. Um, you zoom in here. Hopefully my camera will... It doesn't look like it wants to focus on that. Instead of it being just a, a rotating barrel, there's more like a vein here. That, as you can see, as I rotate that, when it's fully closed, there's just this little orifice that's supposed to maintain an idle speed. And then as you turn this, it's just like a butterfly valve, but it's really thick. So this should be pretty interesting. Now this carb just screws on here. I've not taken that off at all. Oh, I guess I could because it doesn't seem like it's all that tight. I'm not sure. Wow, you probably have to try and get some little bitty wrench on that. Because I'm not sure how that's supposed to come off then. If you have to rotate the whole thing, I don't think you do. But anyway, I probably should probably try and take that carb off and look in there. The thing that kind of disturbs me about this is, A, it's super... Oops, I'm sorry, I didn't know I had this thing so zoomed in. thing is, it, it's just so... Oh, man. I'm not even sure if it's like an ABC engine. I really shouldn't even be trying to turn it over, but it's really, really tight. I did drop a few drops of oil in it because I wasn't even able to do this with it yesterday. It was just solid. Um, I don't know. It To me, it doesn't look like it's ever been run. Maybe this is one of those things where way back then they kind of ran them real quick at the factory. 
but like I was going to say, the thing that kind of bothers me is that this, it just feels like this screw just will turn out. It doesn't feel like the contra piston is turning at all when I kind of try and do this. I can't rotate it this way at all. So I don't know if it's just age and it's locked up and hopefully it'll it'll free up once it starts running but right at this point I really can't adjust the compression ratio so hopefully it's already set to a spot where it will at least fire up and then if the, it heats up then maybe I can adjust it but right now I really can't even I mean I have a feeling if I just keep doing this that whole screw thing is not adjusting the contra piston or all this thing is just coming out maybe I don't know but it has very little resistance until you get to this point. Maybe it's fully screwed down. I don't know. I really don't know a whole lot about this thing. All I know is it's going to be really interesting and at least because of the size of the fuel tank and maybe how long it'll run on that. Maybe I've got enough fuel to actually break this thing in. I'm not sure. But it is kind of a cute little engine. And I picked it up because well, it was available. It was new in box. And... I've never really had one of these small diesels before and since it's small and I don't have a ton of fuel I figured well I can at least run it and uh, you know have a little bit of fun with it so look for this thing to be on my bench here very soon uh, it's the ME Snipe RC diesel engine cute little engine from what I've read it's made to last a very long time and it also takes a very long time they were talking on the order of numbers of hours before it's even fully broken in so that's this little quick look at the Emmy snipe engine made on the Isle of Man